Wow, a little on edge? Sorry, Velma. Like we haven't eaten since the snack after lunchtime snack. Shaggy, Scooby, you guys are going to love me. The Keystone Castle International Food Festival. Food Festival? A castle? Sounds like it could be a fun type of vacation. It's beautiful. Look at the amazing scenery. And there's even an eating competition. Ooh. Scoop, this is like no time for sleeping, man. We've got to start clearing all these shelves. Why do that now? To make room for the trophies we're totally going to be bringing back. I'd really love to go, but I promised we'd help my cousin Anna win her school talent contest. We'll be there, Daff. I've heard St. Louis High has the biggest cafeteria in the state. The biggest? Yum. And cafeterias always have the best customers, like us. So as much as I'd like to see that castle, can Anna count on us? Totally. With Scoob and my sweet dance moves in her act, she'll get a first place trophy. Then we can go eat our way to ours. One more time. In the name? Stop, 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 stop! You sound like a mouse, Anna. You must project. And again. In the name of the gods. <laughs> Ms. Hilkin? Is that you? I hope. <laughs> Wait to see Anna. Thanks for helping her out, guys. No problem, Daphne. We're happy to help, right, Scoo? Scooby Dooby Doo. Okay, let's split up. We'll find Anna faster that way. Like we'll search in this direction, right, Scoob? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's worth like 500 Scooby snacks. What are you doing back there? We're Shaggy and Scooby, uh, the, the garden inspectors. Shaggy and Scooby? I've heard of you. I'm Anna. Anna? Like Daphne's cousin? Yeah. We're here to, like, help you win your contest. <laughs> and I'll need some real help. We haven't been able to finish a single dress rehearsal since the Phantom started haunting the theater. Zoinks! Like, did you say the phantom Phantom? Yeah, the phantom of the high school musical. He keeps terrorizing us whenever we're in the theater. Ms. Hilkin still isn't happy with our performance, and the contest is this weekend. Ms. Hilkin? The drama teacher. Okay, but first, like, if we're gonna go find the food, oops, I mean, uh, phantom, <laughs> we need to know. Is there a cafeteria here? Right past that building. But why? Gotta get some energy if we're gonna help you win your contest. <laughs> hey, up there, Scoob. Can't you, like, smell that cafeteria taste? Oh, man. The food's like down this hole. Back to the drawing board, Scooby-Doo. Uh -oh. I haven't even had dinner. And, like, I'm already being deserted. Hey, kids! Coach Hayes, Fred Jones. I remember you from when your school used to play ours. Fred Jones, the star quarterback. Your spectacular pass really stole the game away from us, son. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but thanks, sir. So you'll be at the sports carnival this weekend? This weekend? But the talent show's this weekend. <laughs> That's what Ms. Hilkin thinks. Pardon? Ms. Hilkin, the drama teacher. Well, think about it. How do they ever hope to win the talent contest if they can't even finish a dress rehearsal? Yeah, that is tough to do when there's a phantom in the house. Just as well, as far as I'm concerned. My star player is in that show. Hmm. 
Well, our friend's cousin's in the show, too. So we need to help him get phantom free. Well, a word of advice. Ask Ms. Hilkin where she was every time the phantom appeared. I could get across on that pole. <laughs> Hello, run! What? Scooby-Doo, I thought you were brave. Hey, good work, guys. Come on, Scoob. Gotta find those clues. Clues? Right, clues. Sure, Shaggy. Here? What are you doing? We're trying to help. We're looking for clues to keep the show from being haunted. You must be Miss Hilkin. That's right. The drama teacher here, 22 years now. So, you've heard of our disturbances. Anna's my cousin. We're worried about her. Well, that phantom has been a big nuisance. We were told you were never around when he shows up. Uh, well... <laughs> So, Miss Hilkin, the Phantom's around, and Ms. Hilkin isn't. That sure doesn't sound like Ms. Hilkin. Anna told me she used to be a prize-winning actress. She even won a golden square. The curtain's closed on this musical. Okay. What? But where's Miss Hilkin? Right here. She was just scared. Not me. Whenever I thought the Phantom was around, I ran to protect my most precious possession. A golden square. I won for the performing I used to do. I predict someday Anna will have one too. But why did the coach do it? Simple. For the love of the game. He knew he needed a full team to have a chance at winning this weekend's game. So like he sabotaged the show. Exactly. Then the coach hooked himself up to the wiring in the theater, making it look like he could fly. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, it sounds like his next play will be a gripping courtroom drama. <laughs> and the school is finally scarce of scares. Scooby dooby doo. <laughs> Hmm. 
boy. Dagwood dogs, like here we come. Yum, yum, yummy. Jeepers, I can't believe we've come all this way so you guys can practice your eating. Practice? Like we're already divas of digestion. <laughs> hey, it's closed. What? Huh? That's strange. This place never closes. <laughs> Come on, gang. It looks and sounds like we've got a mystery on our hands. Dagwood dogs. Hopefully, they'll still be waiting for us in their little kennels. Step away from the sandwich. Well, we couldn't let innocent hot dogs just go to waste. Oh, that's some hot dog. Tell you what, if you make one of them for me, I'll let you off. <laughs> Sorry I shook you guys up. We came here to help. We're Mystery Inc. Our friends are out searching for the non-edible type clues. <laughs> Oh, if they want to find clues, they should be heading for the haunted house. <laughs> haunted? Halt! Who dares to enter my town? Your town? Who are you? Velma and Daphne of Mystery Inc. And who the heck are you? I am Numbers. I keep these streets clean with my super awesome gadgets. You'd be... <laughs> Cute. They're coming. <laughs> Never fear. Numbers is... Whoa! Show yourself. Evening, children. To you, to you. Yeah, evening to you, to you too. <laughs> Tim Toiler, that's the name. Friendly town citizen. Completely sane! Glad you think so. We're trying to find the toy maker. Ah, the toy maker. What a great man. They say they might have to shut down the amusement park. We won't let that happen. I haven't even been on a ride yet. So, the toy maker? Everyone here knows him. Loved by all. Pretty much the town hero. There was going to be a statue, but ah, they couldn't do him justice. Can you take us to the toy maker's factory? If you think I can, that's my plan. Follow my friendly followers. Follow! Psst, up here.
if this mechanical menace has a master. Tim, Tim Toiler? Toiler? That's right. Tim the Toy Man Toiler. Snappy nickname. It's actually quite simple, Mr. Smithers. Once the new amusement park opened, all the kids were too busy with the new rides and arcade machines. And Mr. Toiler just plain got jealous. <gasps> Nobody wanted to play with his toys anymore. <sighs> like I know where I'd be, because you can't buy Dagwood dogs at a toy stand. So he sent out terrifying toys to scare the locals away from the amusement park. And he would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you kids. Yeah, thanks. We can't take all the credit, sir. We had a little help along the way. Yeah, well, who better to help catch an evil toy maker than his former apprentice? Ooh! Now that things are safe, I'll be making some new toys. Great! We'll be back here to check them out! <laughs> Yikes! Phew! Right now, we'll be checking those out! Scooby Dooby Doo! Shrimp, lobster, sardines. Mmm, man, I can like taste them now. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Welcome to Rocky Bay, gang. That's strange. The village looks deserted. It's the height of tourist season. Where is everyone? Jinkies. Maybe we should do a little investigating. Why don't you take Shaggy and Scooby and check out the boats along the shore? Daphne, let's see if we can locate some locals. Oh no, here we go. Uh-oh. An ambush? <sighs> so unoriginal. Here so late at night. That deep one will get ya! The deep one? The giant sea monster that lives at the heart of the ghostly cruise ship. It's why all these sea creatures are causing trouble. They're fishing for people. So that's why the town seems empty. Maybe we can help you, mister. Not mister, it's Captain! Captain Bluebeard, at your service. Hey there. Welcome to what's left of Rocky Bay. Hi. This here's Seth Angler, Rocky Bay's finest dive instructor. Well, Captain, we'll do our best to find out what's going on. Look for old Willie the Whaler, down by the pier. That crazy old kook should know a thing or two. Just don't tell him Bluebeard sent you. Excuse me. Ah, Backcracking! <laughs> yeah, what you doing sneaking up on an old whaler like that? Sorry, we didn't mean to frighten you. Wasn't frightened. Got nerves of steel. 
We've come to ask you about the ghostly cruise ship and the sea creatures. If you ask me, that careless captain's at the helm. Young upstart ran his ship in the mine five years ago. She sunk just out past the bay, never recovered. What about the ghostly cruise ship? The best view would be from the lighthouse. Can't miss it. These days, it's the only house with a light on. Oh, darn kids. Darn Bluebeard. Well, I sink me ship. Yeah, well, I'll show him what for. Hello again. You kids still wandering around? Rocky Bay's a dangerous place at night. You don't seem too bothered about it. Uh, you could say I know my way around this town at night. I'm sure you do. Guess you've seen the ghostly cruise ship, right? Most every time it comes. That cursed ship's been a mystery for centuries. It haunts the towns all along this coast. Chills the spine. Well, it sure spooked the locals. What really spooks them is the giant sea monster that lives at the heart of the ghostly cruise ship. I've seen it crush a boat in half with just one claw. You're awfully brave to come here anyway. You're foolish. Ah, I won't let it scare me, though. Anyways, got a jet. Hey, you look strong, <gasps> Minnow. Can you give me a hand with these boxes? Sure. Thanks for that, little buddy. See you later, Sea Flower. Sea Flower? Oh! pieces fit and I know just the person to handle these two so captain we're handing them over to you I'll be happy to see that justice is served we haven't used the brig in years except to pickle Harry they almost had us fooled until I saw Seth pick up those diver flippers all those shiny pearls he was just about to move them ready for the next load to come in they teamed up to recover Willie's sunken boat that's how they found Pearl Reef then they scared everyone away, and the pearls were theirs. And we would have gotten away with it if it weren't for that little mermaid and her gang. Mermaid? <sighs> yeah, I won't forget this, Bluebeard. Ah, oh, hush, you fool. You kids are welcome in Rocky Bay whenever you please. Scooby. Dooby. Dooby. Sire, your guests are waiting. Yes, yes, almost ready. Mm, my moustache could do with a brush. Costington, pass me the brush. Aw, <sighs> oh, man, we're too late. The food festival's like over. I don't think so, Shaggy. Could be another mystery. We need to get to the castle and quick. Young sire and madam, welcome to Keystone Castle, the home of the brave. 
<coughs> Cowardly. <laughs> I am Costington, the castle butler. Your friends have made their way to the dining table. <coughs> Pigs. Oh, do excuse me. A slight tickle of the throat. Uh, right. We saw everybody fleeing. Yes, things didn't go quite as the Baron had planned. This is a castle with a dreaded curse. Curse? That's best explained by the Baron himself. I shall take you to meet him. <coughs> Bug him. Gustington, my slippers have lost their fluffiness. Fluff them! Are you the Baroness? Tch! No, the Baron's my brother. I am Lady Azarni van Rickenstuff, named after the great Lady of Keystone and rightful heir to this castle. Uh, pleased to meet you, ma'am. Ugh, more freeloaders for my brother's stupid feast, I see. Not running off in fright yet. Costington mentioned a castle curse. Bravo, except it's not the castle. It's the Baron. He's cursed, like all the Van Rickenstuff men. The Witch Queen will threaten them for as long as they reside in this castle. That is our family's curse. Spirit, huh? Well, ghost hunting is our specialty. We'll need to speak with the Baron. Yes, right this way. Fluffy! The courtyard is directly through that passageway. You'll find the Baron there working. <coughs> Hiding. <laughs> Who dares enter Keystone Castle? Speak! We'd like to help solve the mystery of Keystone. Oh, 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 oh my! Oh my! Yes, yes, oh. A pocket sized baron. Handy. Oh, finally someone here to help! Oh, how exciting! Welcome! Your Baronhood, we... Yeah, 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 His Highness, lots of honor and lots of respect. So, you solved the mystery, right? Uh, not yet. But we'd sure like a shot at it. My ancestor, Lady Azani. She had this castle built 900 years ago, but never got to live here. Her evil brother had her thrown into the dungeon forever and took over as Baron. For years, she practiced black magic in the dungeon, bound to return in the afterlife and get revenge. Every Baron von Rickenstuf since has met with a horrible fate. So, you're thinking you could be next? Oh, I know I am. Her spirit appeared again at the festival in a blast of fire, promising my doom. Everybody ran. It's just a matter of time before she comes for me. If you want to help, go to the woods and find Cal Perkins, the castle huntsman. He knows the castle grounds better than anyone. Okay, uh, let's find the others first. We'll need the whole team for this one. scream about <laughs> except a man wearing a bear's head Yikes! you scare them all off scare what off the werewolves now there's something to scream about quiet <laughs> here they come boys <laughs> well you two can handle yourselves all right but that's still no reason to be playing in the royal woods did the Baron send you? Yup, sure did. Thought he might have. You see, he keeps me out here protecting the castle woods. But why would he send you to? Like we're just here for the food, man. <laughs> With that witch queen about, you are the food. Especially if you're planning on messing around at that cabin by the lake. Oh, we won't. We won't. Now, why not? The locals call it Creepy Cabin. They say bad things are happening there. Creepy cabin? <laughs> you be careful now. Oops, again, you all too much. 
didn't have a sense of humor, but she sure did bring down the house. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, kids! I may not have a castle, but a curse I can certainly do without. I can't thank you enough. We're just happy to help you, Baron Hood. It was a tricky mystery to figure out. Yeah. Who would have thought the castle had a secret gold mine underneath it? And your sister would want you gone so she could have the gold all for herself. Yeah, how did your sister do that stuff with the lightning and the magic and the getting bigger? I beg your pardon, but what sister? I don't have a sister. Yes, you do. Lady Zarni. She lives in the castle with you. Nobody lives in Keystone Castle but me and the servants. And I am an only child. But we saw Costington talk to her. Actually, Freddy, all you saw was Lady Azarni talk to Costington. I guess that's a mystery that will have to remain unsolved. Fine with me. Me too. <coughs> Excuse me, sirs and madams. The food festival, <coughs> pig out party, is served. Dooby-dooby! <coughs> Food! <laughs> <laughs> 